one owner car guy one owner car guy.com this is video two in a three video set that I'm making and I think this one will be the equipment I don't know I went to an auction it's a huge auction we made a lot of content there I'll be uploading it this weekend this is it make sure and check my other videos all kinds of cars on here and all kinds of cool stuff coming up as we get some of these cars that we're previewing today here we go one owner car guy one owner car guy .com. made a video just the other day and did the cars and now we'll be looking at all the machinery and stuff and I'll make a video of that there's more cars too but they're a little not as clean however there is some classics here man they got wheel loaders like crazy all state surplus good enough for someone that's an entrepreneur but not good enough for a government employee no way they need brand new stuff man I'd move a mountain with this thing Got these. I'm interested in these. Wow. Babe, should we get a dentist chair since I like the dentist so much? I got six of them. Theater seating. Probably from the college. I think. I don't know. Just a guess. Wow. And they got some serious, serious sewing machines here. Talk about upholstery shop. Upholstery shop for sure. Look at all the lights. Hopefully they went to LED and stuff. Save some money somewhere. What's in these huge boxes? I've got to know. Seriously? Whoa. Fire and rescue equipment. Wow, oxygen and everything. Diving equipment? No, this is fire equipment. Babe, look in here. It's all fire equipment. Oh, wow. That is too. Wow. It's, babe, it's the end of the firehouse. Pretty cool. What is that? Oh my God. That is a copy machine right there. Wow. Ryosh. Ryochi. Right, Koi, where's the model number? No model number. Do you see a model number on the side? I don't think that's it. Model number? Like a booster bumper. Oh, a T1. A Pro 8 120C. I'm gonna look that up. I don't even know what that is. Well, that was a fun detour. Actually, huge, huh? <laughs> What do you want to climb up in there? I can't even get it. You just grab that bar right there and climb up. This, this. Yeah, and the other one. Vlad would be so jealous right now. Here, we get a screenshot of that and I can send it to your mom. Oh, how do I get this? Same way in reverse. Turn around. Oh, that's scary. Hey, this would make a good video when you fall down. I'm behind you. I got you. Not for you, but for me it might be a little funny. Oh my god. Okay, so the number one car that I'm interested in, and one of the number two vans is right here. The van has no reverse, but I think it has low miles. And the car that I'm really, really into, that I'm hoping will just squeeze by everybody, is this here Caprice. The cop car Caprice. With the horseshoe. That's a great hood ornament, right? Great hood ornament. But these are getting so rare. These boxy little caprices. This is like, seriously, probably the number one thing I'm interested in. The dash is all crinkled. They make covers for that. They make new seats. 
But to find this car with no rust and all the trim, the trunk's a little off. That's all. It's clean, it's straight. That trunk isn't. But I mean, there's no rust. It's a very clean car. So I pop the hood, we'll check that out and see what we're dealing with. 350, come on baby, give me my 350. Oh my, it's actually one better than that. Well, it's a 5.0, it's not the 350. I can't see 5.0, but it's pretty new, it's an 89. So you got all newer intake and stuff. Huh, I like this car. I'm all over this car. Turns over, no start. Yeah, then it can't be all that big of a deal on a Chevy. So look at all that, all the tractors. Wow, it's a smaller auction this year. Last year, all this was filled up and all that just stuff over there. Well, look at that military blazer. And then we'll get serious about the cars here on the other side. Yeah. We'll wait for these guys to get away from the blazer and then I'll go over there. Not as much stuff here as the other side, but these guys over here playing ass grab. I don't know what their deal is. Wow, this is one clean, one clean Dodge. It seriously is. Look at this thing. That took a hit. Oh, cheesy. Let's see here. Is the four by? It looks like two by. It's two by kind of rare for a montana government truck to be two by but it's super super clean i can only guess the miles are low we should remember this number to where we can look at it it's really clean come look at the inside come look at the inside <laughs> a freaking dodge imagine look at that just fell under my hand i didn't even push Oh, yeah. The number one problem these have is that. Yeah. No, look. It hit a deal. No. The dash falls apart. They all fall apart. Just one of the joys of Dodge. You can tell the battery terminal might be bad. Because, can you hold this? I don't want to be in this. Persistence. Five two. It's clean enough, yeah. You could tell the battery terminals are bad and something was going on because it had all the rust coming out of here. Mm. But definitely something's been tweaked a little bit. Because that shouldn't touch. Yeah, but it's just an exhaust manifold. It's no big deal. that thing where nobody else can open it. So this thing's got flat tires. Inmate driver. Whoa. An inmate driver. Look out for this guy. He may have murdered your mother. And they gave him a... a cuck pee. Yeah. It's not that clean. But... They are rare. Nice backhoe. Still got it. Big old diesel. All right, I don't know where I'll dump this in, but I thought it was over. But they had a lot more stuff here. Um, these trailers, they got a mold disclosure and stuff you got to sign. Not really interested. I am interested in this, but it's honestly a big job. So kind of disinterests me a bit. Guy should buy a horse trailer. They make a lot of money. Got the fire truck. And this thing ain't gonna go for much. I'm gonna talk to him. It's, it runs supposedly, but has issues with the dump when they dump the stuff out. 
Lots of stainless steel, lots of chrome. Give them government employee firemen something to shine up. So now they got something new to shine up. I can understand that kind of stuff. These things, these are just so nice. This is, it's a rare truck. It is a rare truck. In fact, I didn't show it. I showed it in a different video. But the biggest thing about this, I guess there's only 58,000 miles on it. Yeah. Under the hood, as nice as can be. This thing's clean, man. And they disclosed a rusty frame. Look at these tires. Look at the back tires of Goodyear. That's not rusty. That's not rusty. They're all good years. Okay, well, I got one more to check out. All these old snow piles don't interest me much. You get if you owned a ranch or something. They got gravel spreaders on the back, the whole deal. But these top kicks, they do interest me a lot. Got a Decat diesel. Hey, Mini. Wow, that's a different back, but this one's a dually. And let's see here. 264 is a whole different monster. Same truck, but it's not even 4x, is it? Nope. Huh. Whole different truck. That one down there is one cool rig. Okay, well, that's what there was. I might throw in some more. There are some seats down here, but all this metal is awesome. Okay, well, that's this side. Not a lot of stuff on this side. Not as big of an auction on this side. But I'm going back to the other side so you can put all that together and enjoy this video. Check out the other ones. You will like the other one better probably unless you're into equipment, which I didn't really tour the equipment this much. What's there to show? It's tractors. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment. I got all kinds of videos on here. We'll talk to you. Well, that was it. Subscribe, like, comment. Check out my channel. We'll talk to you.